your time this morning. Pope Farm Conservancy has a seven crop display each summer. That might be surprising. You have winter wheat, oats, alfalfa, timothy, corn, soybeans, and of course, sunflowers. Sunflowers is what it's known best for. It's that field of sunflowers, arguably, not arguably, it is the most popular display. Most More popular. than half a million sunflowers are currently in peak condition right now. Eden Checkle joins us live this morning from Middleton. Good morning, Eden. Good morning, Adam and Danica. It only takes a tractor, a corn planter, and four hours of time to sow the seeds and come up with this beautiful view of sunflowers, and thousands have been stopping by to take it in. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a tradition for families. We've been coming here for the past four years, and the kids absolutely love it. And a photographer's dream. They're the best subjects in the world. They're all facing the camera. Sunflower Days simply started with an idea. And so we thought, well, let's just grow sunflowers, and we did. And this isn't the view Mel Pope recalls as a kid. I grew up on that, uh, in that uh, farm right over there. That's the Pope homestead. Now the nine and a half acres off Old Sock Road are coated in a sea of sunflowers. Never dreamed it would turn into this. It's become a hit at Pope Farm Conservancy. And over the years, it grew and grew and grew. And so did the crowds, now attracting 60,000 people over just a few days. And it's a pretty unusual sight for Wisconsinites. Typically, sunflowers are grown out in the Dakotas and Kansas. They favor dry weather and sunshine. It's rare because we have a soil type here that seems to, the sunflowers seem to do very well in. So well that nearly 550,000 of them reached full bloom ahead of schedule this year. And they just exploded the last few days because of the heat. Typically these flowers thrive on flat fields, but this time they were forced to take a chance. We have to rotate the crop for disease and soil and a lot of different uh, good things. The gamble paid off and they ended up with rolling hills of gold. We had no idea whether they were all going to bloom at the same time. And they did. Pope hopes his newer view plants a seed of happiness in each visitor that stops by. Smiley faces, sunflowers, it doesn't get better than that. Now, Adam. Now, Adam and Danica, the weather cooling off might actually help prolong the bloom. But again, some of these sunflowers are starting to droop, but they are open here at Pope Farm Conservancy from sunrise to sunset. And this is free. You get to take in this view. And what I'm told is that once these sunflowers do droop, the sunflower seeds dry and then they're sold as bird feed in November. But again, you can't be around these sunflowers and not be in a great mood. I mean, it just makes you happy. And for me, it's been such a great way to start my day. It's one of my happy places for sure. Yeah. Beautiful. Good assignment today, Dan, uh, Eden. Thank you so much. <laughs> you didn't match in those sunflowers today, too. Actually, I, I took notice you, you as, did well. as well. There yeah. we go.